Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Old, and this is your weekly update. A change to the smoke and carbon monoxide detector affidavit takes effect as of October 1st. It's the result of legislation passed during the session that ended in June. The legislation designates that the model affidavit be created jointly by CTR, the fire marshals, and the Bar Association. The rationale for the change is to clarify the understanding by consumers about what the current law requires related to detectors that must be in the property based on the age of the house. Connecticut state law requires property owners to have detectors, yet sellers may not be complying with that state law. The new law extends to condos and townhomes and eliminates the option for a $250 seller credit. The rationale for the detector requirement is to save lives, and there was no obligation in the former law for buyers to use the credit to purchase detectors. The new affidavit remains a document provided by attorneys at closing. It cannot be used before its effective date of October 1st. The affidavit is available for members to review at ctrealtors.com slash announcements. We have two local Realtors of the Year to share. The Greater Bridgeport Board of Realtors selected Justin Betty as its local Realtor of the Year. Justin is the 2023 board president. He's been a Realtor for 20 years and is the third generation in his family to sell real estate. The Newtown Board of Realtors honored Ann Stark as its Realtor of the Year. Ann is the current board president. She's been a Realtor since 1997, previously served as board president in 2010, and says it's important for the board to be very involved in the community. Congratulations to Ann and Justin. As we head into the fall season, it also means we're getting closer to election season. This is a municipal election year, which means you're voting for your city or town leaders. CT Realtors reminds members to check your voter registration status to ensure you are registered to vote in the November election. CTRealtors.com slash vote has several useful links related to voter registration. Click the button to look up your voter registration if you're unsure whether you are registered to vote or whether your registration is up to date. The online voter registration button takes you to the page to register or to make changes to your registration status, such as address updates, name changes, or party affiliation enrollment. Select the online absentee ballot request button to submit an application for an absentee ballot if you will be unable to vote at your polling location on election day. CTRealtors.com slash vote also has a link to the state's voter information page for additional voting related resources. Election day is Tuesday, November 7th. CT Realtors encourages all members to get out and vote this November. We are wrapping up September as Realtor Safety Month, but don't forget to keep safety at the forefront throughout the year. NAR has several resources to help you do that. NAR.Realtor slash safety offers tips and resources, webinar recordings, and videos with information on a variety of safety-related topics. You can also check out the podcast, Drive with NAR, the safety series at NAR.Realtor slash magazine slash drive. The episodes examine risks you face on the job, including first-hand accounts from members across the country. You'll also find additional safety resources at ctrealtors.com safety. That is your weekly update. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.